Day 17 and sheepies are up and about. So that's good news, this must have had a bit of an upset tummy for a day. The pigs are in their area, I mean, it looks like they have a good route around so that's some good news. I'm now just waiting to see what's going to go wrong. We've already had dinner, breakfast, got loads of grass, still pesting for food aren't you? Yeah, go away. Having a good scratch. We've eaten that much out of ground, we've got food left on the floor. Everyone says greedy is a pig, but if they're well fed, they actually don't eat more than they need. Well, they are still fairly greedy. And this is why everything has to be staked down and sturdy as out. Because they really lean into it and they get a scratch on. The step in is shop supervisor. Woohoo! So, just brought some uh, tatty peelings back from the shovel, which they've thoroughly enjoyed. Yeah, I'm going to feed them as much veg and good stuff as possible, rather than just cake. Whenever I put food out for these guys, these girls get a little bit upset, but I would offer them, you know, potato peelings, but I've offered them before, they don't like them, but they still look at me a little bit like I'm being harsh. It's not nice. Did this trailer that was full of all the rubbish um, and got rid of all the scrap, uh, Gemmo came and uh, got rid of all the scrap for me. So we've got all the chairs and everything like that. Took the uh, rest of this bit of the fencing down, giving the yard a bit of a clear and a tidy out. Put all the rubbish into there, got most of the stuff down. I just need to find a way of moving that. That's a log burner that I need to move by myself. That's going to be fun. I also need to move all that wood, just basically four or five foot to the right. Um, and chop all this hedge back and basically turn that into a bit of a wall there because I've had a real trouble with you know you get two vehicles here and you've got a problem and it's a potential issue on the road for people driving past and it's quite a straight bit of road but people try and go quickly so I want to turn this into not, not a car park but can't wait to have friends sat around this so yeah my phone died uh, after I got back from the pub uh, basically I was just spent today cleaning up rubbish so didn't really record that much because well no one wants to watch someone basically litter picking um, but yeah it was really good going down to the pub and seeing what the parents are doing it's really good like they're doing the shop and you know just getting the bare necessities in so people don't have to go into camp if they don't need to which is it's, it's another potential pathway and risk and that so that's really good and just uh, delivering food to just like you know hot hot meal that you've not had to cook yourself to people that are in isolation and making sure that you know frontline workers that have had to isolate because they've got corona are, you know properly taken care of and yeah it's, it's really good to see so yeah and also loads of plants growing so that's going to be a, a job over the next couple of days so yeah, uh, it's been a good day. Got things tidied, uh, got rid of a load of scrap, and yeah, the pigs are happy, sheep are happy. I was a bit worried that the sheep was going to be a bit ill, but now it's, it's back on its feet and up and about. So yeah, happy days, and let's see what day 18 has to all. So once again, a thank you to Trey for a chicken and duck short crust, COVID-19 ch chicken and duck short crust, and what looks like a blackberry crumble. But I also owe Joe Taylor an apology as I didn't film everything in landscape today. But I will remember tomorrow and I'm sorry, I will do it. I will remember. Thanks for the tip.